That could only be the musical stylings of Victor Oladipo, yeah. who is the reigning two-time champion of the uh, All-Star Weekend uh, player <laughs> Shit. Uh, uh, talent show. You are talented. I give you a little credit on that. A lot of credit. You're very talented. I mean, you're not a karaoke guy like me, but you can ask oh. me. Uh, you know they call me O'Brown Eyes, right? <laughs> as a matter of fact, yeah. as a matter of fact, uh, you both have experience singing New York, New York. His was uh, at the Slam Dunk Contest. Yours was in Vegas. Yes. We had the show out there. Here's this little sampling. <laughs> New York, 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 but it's been it's been a it's been a heck of a ride to be honest. Um, I really can't complain. Um, yeah, I was kind of uh, I was a little down. I, I found out I was injured and I had to have surgery again. Or, you know, what is he doing? You know, another knee. But at the end of the day, you yeah, know, I have, I have amazing teammates. You know, guys like Draymond, everybody on this team, they they, they come over there, they wrap their hands around me. Like, Alongside Matt Lauer and Al Roker, will someone Don't do this? The, the junior high hug dance. It's like this. You gotta make it real awkward. That's exactly how you have did. to have a certain amount of distance between yes, the bodies exactly. in junior high. Yes, yeah, like they say in Catholic school, leave room for the Holy Ghost. <laughs> anyway, there is a lot of uh, memories today. Actually, it's a big day in music history. 35 years ago today, Elvis Presley passed away, the king of rock and roll. And as Mark Cohn says in his great song, Walking in Memphis, there's a pretty little thing waiting for the... Another... 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 Evan... Well, a very, very heavy, uh, heavy divertation tonight. We had a very Daris, Darison bite. Let's go to Terrace Chasen. Let's put the bit. They have the pet. Reporting from our Rock County Bureau at the Janesville Gazette. Thanks, Marco. Well, Wisconsin has officially joined 25 other states in a lawsuit against President Obama's health care reform law. Attorney General J.B. Van Hollen says Wisconsin is the latest state, including Iowa, Kansas, Maine, Ohio, and Wyoming, to join Florida's suit. The States claiming the exorcist saw unto Sracho and Palais Brinritz by Health Urset. Yeah, it's a difficult title. Uh, it's a good, uh, <laughs> a good day to die. I... But I suppose it's because you had kind of a good day, and if you would have died, well, so be it. Is that it? That's right. It, that, that, that's, a, that's a great question. Have a sandwich, and let's go shopping. <laughs> yeah, that, that would have been at your chosen That's, time. Well, it's about, I don't, it makes about as much sense. Too low cost. I'm sorry, the I was in a trance. Yeah, watch the drill there. year. You've had a year that would test a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Illness in the family. Mm -hmm. A breakup. This spasm of publicity about what happened in, from Mexico to London. It was pretty rough. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Ah, weird. Hello. Um, oh my goodness, hello, ew, strong Brittany. Um, yeah, it was a weird time. Ew, I'm embarrassed, can we stop? 
in covertly recorded off-air transmissions from the Bush-Clinton presidential election campaign in the 1990s, we can see that Bill Clinton was nothing more than a puppet to the puppet masters which placed him in the White House. Bill Clinton's demeanor seems to be similar to a person who is under a hypnotic trance. You probably heard about the voice of God inside your head. Is it real? Absolutely. You can hear the handlers or mind prison guards inside your skull as clearly as a cell phone call. This is the synthetic tele telepathy that the CIA has been working on for decades. Is this the stuff voices in the head and things like that? Yes. We've run into a few people that claim they got voices in their heads, they sleep inside tinfoil boxes, they do a lot of crazy things, it seems. But when they talk to us, they seem totally normal. They seem totally sane. Are these people crazy, or is the government doing this to them? The, the government's doing this to them. Uh, voices are very easy. Um, and the it isn't people imagining voices. They physically hear them. They physically hear, as I'm talking to you, my voice isn't inside your brain. My voice goes no further than an inch into your ear. No further at all. Uh, it's the electrical signal that makes you interpret how I sound. And once you've got this electrical signal, which can be a chip or a, lots of things, you can physically make people hear voices certain voices and, and it can be it, the, any conversation um and it, it can be anybody you want to hear it can be a soft angel and angelic voice it can be a god uh it could be something that scares you like a devil it, it could be anything and then i'd go down the re road and talk to somebody else and they would continue the conversation because it was that same energy speaking through these people that it had hacked into so it's it's an intelligent life that literally can hack into people and it can use them as their puppets while it what it does essentially it puts you or your soul energy in a sort of box inside you where it feeds off of it and it stays in your body and expresses it's why we have so many murderers child molesters and things like that out there 18 fighter jets are spending about as much as 20 and ready to assist the 600, uh, 100 deployed over the amount needed. Now, it did depend that how the NOLAN remerges RN while the university or the UN mi mission has whole received support from all patteries in the hues of the, the garbins uh, of today. Excuse me, uh, I'll hand it back to you. Oh, Barack Obama retaking the oath of office. Chief Justice Roberts with reporters present readministering the, re uh, administering the oath, excuse me, getting the words right, unlike me this time. Launched a high profile bid to be named Secretary of State, named as Secretary to Secretary of State Clinton's old Senate seat, uh, Candy will continue to work her source. Sor sor better, because um, I am a truth machine. Um, Go ahead. I uh, I, uh, is not an answer. Don't give me baloney. Um, I had a little bit. Just pay attention. Listen to me. You're a big baby. I'm going to go back to you, sir. I want you to tell me about this cousin, Stephanie. What? Make a beeline for the brain as soon as they are inhaled. Too big to pass back through the blood brain barrier, they become trapped there. Nature.com, January 5th, 2004. Once nanoparticle particulates have sufficient control over a host body, they can then be remotely controlled to work as a GPS tracking device to inflict physical pain and disease to influence emotional states, to cause memory lapses, to read brain patterns, and even to remotely influence thoughts. Scientists working at the University of Southern California have created an artificial memory system 
that allows thoughts, memories, and learned behavior to be transferred from one brain to another. Using nanoparticles and a magnetic field, University of Buffalo scientists have been able to make worms move in any direction they dictated simply by heating clusters of nanoparticles inside them. These fibers contain nano components which construct and install nano implants which the aggregate of, of the cons, constitutes what is commonly known as a biological application programming interface allowing for complete monitoring and control of all body and mind function in a given host you and everyone on the entire planet or plant here is a payload zoom is I think one two hundredth another these are the deliveries through our blood membranes these are in all of us all our children everyone And it works in reverse. As creepy as this may sound, it works in reverse as well. Uh, control panel stalkers are able to see any images originating in the target individual's mind, uh, both actual images and fictional images. And by actual images, I mean, like literally, they can see what I see out of my own two eyes. They can see what I what I'm looking at out of my own two eyes through this image induction technology. Uh, but they can also see fictional images. So any 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 thoughts of images that are in my mind. So if I'm if I'm thinking about something in my memory, something that happened several years ago, and I have an image of that in my mind, then they can actually see that too. Or if I'm imagining something, there's an image that I'm imagining in my mind, they can actually see that too. And I know that sounds very science fiction, very crazy, but again, look at Dr. Robert Duncan's book, you'll see that it's not. This may be the most amazing picture you'll ever see in your life. This is a phase two subject with a nano camera in the left eye, only viewable with the proper wavelength of black light. Everyone on the planet has a basic set of nano implants that allows them to be tracked and mind controlled on demand. People who contract what I call phase two will have additional implants that allows them to be body controlled as well as whole host of other functions. Your body is turned into a robot against your knowledge and against your will. The aggregate of these nano implants constitutes what is commonly known as biological application programming interface. This camera is too small and can't be seen, but it can be felt. Some more thoughts and information on the ocular nano implants are available. This technology has been available for the powers that be, mostly the men in black, to use their technological control to control all. Along with their secret societies, they get others to do the bidding of them as they hide behind the scenes in the darkness. That's why they use the owl that can see in the dark. But as you can see throughout history, they've all been a part of these secret societies and secret clubs that are now using touchless torture mind control techniques on everyone look at this George Washington first thing it says in his tombstone he was a Freemason Admiral Byrd who allegedly discovered South Pole that was in the pocket of Rockefeller and look at Bush with all his Freemason buddies all around they do not get into power unless they are owned and controlled sock puppets and here is a list I made up which I'll put in the in the show notes as well showing all the secret society members from Jimmy Carter to George Bush to Bill Clinton to Winston Churchill to all of these Nelson Mandela they're all part of secret societies the general rule is if they're a celebrity if you see them in power if you see them uh, being the CEO of a corporation like USA the guy's name is Trump they are owned they're sock puppets they're actors the Reagan was an actor they're just doing the bidding 
of the people behind the scenes and it's not the Jews. The Jews are the ones that get to keep all the money. They're called the Korthoff Judens. That's why the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers get to keep all the money. But it's the men in black behind them, the Jesuits, the Knights of Malta, the ones that run all the secret societies, the 13 satanic bloodlines from Italy, the Breck Spears and the rest of those that are running the show and have been running it for over 500 years, if not 5,000 years. But we're breaking away now. We're waking up. We're understanding. We're lifting the veil of untruths and lies, which the word apocalypse used to mean. And now we're having a new, seeing the world with a new set of eyes and a new discovery as we all wake up in this dawn of understanding. So please share this video, show what the powers that be have had in control, and they have control for all of us, mind control, uh, and we need to be awake and aware so we can help stop that. Plain truth out, please share, love one another, happy Father's Day to all you men out there who have raised your children well. Peace out.